<laughs> there you are. I was just thinking about you. Well, I got a couple uh, whirly gigs from the state sale, and I wanted to show them to you because uh, I plan on uh, renovating them. And they're, they're nothing complicated, but they're quite interesting, I think. So hang on to your hats here. This one is <laughs> in need of a little repair. That, that rod should be in the middle. But this one has a nice paint job. My neighbor was married three times because he kept out living his wife, wives. And his second wife was really crafty. She was quite the toll painter. She painted all the rocks around the property. Uh, and so I'm pretty sure that she painted this one. It, it's really good. got a nice paint job on it. So this side's a bit rougher. Looks like one of the wings was hitting it. So this one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to just touch it up as best I can. If I have to, I'll repaint it. But I'll try to repaint it the way she did. It. She did a, a really nice job, and I'll have to fashion some kind of wings. And then <laughs> we got this old guy. I think it's supposed to be a seagull. This one was outside. I could see it from my house, but I never saw it turning. It, 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 it does rotate, but you look in here. Let me get a good look at this. At the bearing in there, I'm not getting a very good look at it. And the other neat thing is how this uh, was attached. It's just a. Uh, Drilled a couple holes and twisted some wires on there. So he wired the wings on there. Which I think is interesting. And he's got that nice googly eye. I'm not sure what, is that a flamingo? <laughs> I'm not sure why the beak is pink. I thought it looks like a seagull, but. We are going to do a little corrective surgery on this one. I'm gonna the, put a nice bearing in there. I think the the wings, the wood on the wings is kind of rough, so I'll probably replace that. I've got some nice, nice uh, eighth inch marine grade plywood. But <laughs> this is the surgery I have planned. I don't know. I might have. I could put a crest on there too. Let me see. I'll cut that off and see how it looks. <laughs> I guess that's about it. Well, I cut uh, the beak off of that seagull, and then I cut it into two pieces. I made one piece the crest, and the other piece is the lower beak. And I used dowels to attach the crest and lower beak to the main body. This uh, rod, it's 3 16th inch steel rod. I bent one end of it first and pushed it through the bearing and then I had to bend the other end while it was uh, in, the, in the bearing there. So that was a little tricky but it wasn't too bad. And now you can see the JB weld I'm using to attach the clamps to the wings. Here you can see I uh, attached those little clamps to the wings with some JB Weld. Now I got it all cleaned up. That groove that the rod fits in, I left a little big and I, I filled up the gap with the JB Weld. You can also see a little hole in the top I drilled a 16th inch hole through the rod and put a piece of uh, 16th inch brass rod through there just to keep it from 
movie. Well, we haven't had a whole lot of wind lately. I did, we did have a little bit of wind here. And you can see the wing, wings are going backwards, which is not ideal. So I, I need to do a little more testing here and a little more research and development. Well, we got some light wind today. Not much. I wanted to check out the old stud walker double face here got a frown on this side then you look over here on this side nice smile gotta love that well the wind is just starting to pick up and I saw this thing working just a few minutes ago here it goes there it goes Not a lot of wind. One thing that I want to mention, if you've made it this far in the video, uh, that whirling gig that I made of the donkey uh, kicking the farmer, I sent that off to Out West Homestead. I, I sent it off to Bill and Susie. They have a channel. If, I'm not sure if you're familiar with them. I'm really not very familiar with them, but I, I sent them that whirling gig anyway, uh, just because I felt like it. So if you want to check that out, you really ought to check out their channel. It's called Out West Homestead. Bill and Susie, they got a five acre homestead in New Mexico. And I think they're up around five or 6,000 feet. So they're up pretty high out in the desert. And uh, it's, she makes a, a video every day. So it's just fun. I, I love seeing all their animals. and It's just fun to watch Bill work. She, she films Bill working all the time, so it's kind of fun. So, uh, yeah, check out Out West Homestead. A lot of fun. And I, I got this, uh, I made a, a copy of the ladybug that I copied, that I carved for my mom. I made a copy of it, or made a mold, and, and this is a, a polyurethane resin casting of it. So I want to show you that up close. Right, creatures? We gotta show, show them the ladybug real quick. So, so that's kind of fun. I got a, a mold that I can make this anytime I want now. I just made this yesterday. I was able to get it all painted. She's awful cute. Let's see these little flowers. I used the iridescent paint on here. It didn't show up very well on the camera. That's kind of nice. Hey, somebody's feeding me feathers. Well, I sure appreciate you uh, stopping by. Don't forget to check out Out West Homestead's channel. Well, that's all we got for now. Take care, friends. I'll see you down the trail. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a good bird, Peaches. Yeah, bye-bye. See you later.